Now that my fabric interconnects come back up, it's time to upgrade the BIOS of my servers. For that, you need to go to the Servers tab, and then under the Policies section, right-click on Host Firmware Packages, and choose Create a Host Firmware Package. So on this window here, I'll give it a name. Then I'll click on the BIOS tab and select the BIOS that I want in here. We'll go ahead and click the ones for the B series. I'll go ahead and rename this since we've only got B series and it's just a BIOS upgrade for the B series. So we'll give it a better name to reflect what's in it. Then we'll go down and click OK and then click OK on the pop up. And now we can see that our firmware package has been created. Now the firmware package is created and now it needs to be applied to the service profile. So you do that under the policies tab and then the firmware policy section and then change the drop down to reflect the host firmware package we created earlier and click save changes. Once you click that, it will cause the server to reboot. So this is what the warning says here. So we're gonna go ahead and click yes. And this is just stating that we can watch the progress of the FSM tab. So if you do look under the FSM tab, you can see that the server is now rebooting. So what I'll do is I'll fast forward the video a little bit to when the server comes back up. Okay, the server is now back up. Now we can check on it by clicking on the equipment tab, then highlighting the server and looking under the inventory tab. And you can see it's upgraded to 1.4. You can also look at its interface card and check and see that it has also been upgraded to 1.4 as well. Okay, now all needs to be done is to do the exact same thing to each of the other servers to upgrade their BIOS. Once that is complete, UCS will be completely upgraded to 1.4. I hope you enjoyed this training video. Hopefully it will help you in successfully upgrading your UCS. Thanks for watching, and always thanks for choosing Cisco.